Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. The outcome of this one, well, we know who's going to win it. It's just all window dressing at this point. Got me thinking, what's what's the biggest blowout that you've been a part of as a player, broadcaster? No, I'm not going to go to the player part because when I think blowout... Because you've won every game as a player. No, no, no. I think about being blown out. <laughs> and no one wants to go back to those memories. But, you know, when I was calling college football, I saw a game that... You know, team put 70. I actually saw it happen twice. A team put 70 on their opponent. And in the NFL in the 2017 season, I saw Marvin Jones. 20, 10, 5. Touchdown, Jaguars. Marvin Jones, 73 yards. Both offenses have been clicking in this one. A lot of points on the board. We'll see if that trend continues. On first and 10, Madden over the middle. He's got Chenault. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Play action. Madden. And a catch made by his tight end, Luke Farrell. And all the way down inside the 25 before he gets out of bounds. It's a big play for the Jaguars. No let up in this passing game. They've been a well-oiled machine throughout. And actually saw a few guys on the sidelines at the end of the third quarter doing the old hold up four fingers college sign, meaning the fourth quarter is ours. And they certainly weren't kidding. Flush to his right. And this turns into a nice gain with a slide at the end. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Jaguar football here as we welcome you back. They've got it first and goal in a game that appears to have already been decided. Now it looks like he'll throw here. And this will be caught. And the carnage continues. It's another touchdown. Well, they mentioned this week, Charles, they had a couple kinks on offense that they wanted to fix. I would say they're pretty well fixed. <laughs> Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. They have that feeling that has to be the best. You just go out in complete control of this game here for hopefully one final possession. And it's the culmination of preparation that began with something along the lines from the head coach of, we're going to win this weekend, and here's how we're going to get it done. And covered all the details that went into it. They practiced them. They went over them. They tweaked the game plan as the, as the week went on. And to find it all coming together and see it finish this way, Makes them happy. Oh, that's satisfying <laughs> for them. Yeah, they were very, very good. And now off to the races, to the right side. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. Well, partner, when a team's up this big, this late in the game, I always wonder what's their motivation because if it's me, I'm thinking about pulling on the reins a little bit. But for them, I don't think it's in their DNA. It's not in their head coach's makeup at all. I think his opinion is a big offensive explosion help leading them to victory and the defensive guys they're just saying hey put those points up every week we'll just keep winning they will gratefully accept them won't they it makes their job that much easier when they're scoring that many points allows them to play with a totally different style and a different flow so for the Jaguars, they are now two wins away from a perfect regular season as they run their mark to 15-0 on the year. And they'll get another road test next week as they head to New England to take on the Patriots. Meanwhile, for the Jets, they fall under 500 now as they drop to 7-8. And, and they'll look to get back on the beam next week as they host the Tampa Bay Buccaneers.
right, all right, I'll admit it. It was a bit of clickbait earlier when I said Jacksonville's prized rookie at quarterback had been asked about changing positions. Because to be honest, look, I want my social numbers up too. I'm just being candid. Anyway, here's the truth. The kid was asked about it, jokingly, of course, by offensive coordinator Manny Kahue, who was impressed by their top pick's rushing performance during their last game. Here's the sound. Hey, let me ask you something real quick and be honest. <laughs> What's up, coach? You trying to move to running back? <laughs> nah, coach. <laughs> nah, nah, I'm good. <laughs> okay, okay, just making sure. Hey, I love how you're running the ball out there. Keep it up. So that's actually how it went down. Just a fun little exchange on the sideline. Which leads us to a different kind of exchange that took place after the game. And even now, I'm not exactly sure what the reporter was thinking. Man, it's really coming down out there, huh? Don't get anything like that on the West Coast where I'm from. So, how are you feeling about the game plan? now on EA Sports. So this winter storm hammering the Great Lakes region. It won't let up. And through it all, these two teams have been battling it out in these treacherous conditions. 14-7 our score. And now a big sequence coming up. A first and goal with a chance to tie up this football game. Back to throw. Madden. Got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Jaguars. James Robinson. With touchdown number 27, that ties Priest Holmes for the third most in a single year. And the Jaguars are within an extra point of tying this one up. And that an important touchdown here this third quarter. Especially given the way the snow continues to fall. You have to 